We just want people to know that, hey, we're normal. And you can't judge people on their normal. You really can't. Everybody get a pose. Hi, my name is Cordell. And my name is Caleb, and we live in Atlanta, Georgia. These are our babies, Desmarais, Malia, and Cordell, eight, seven, and six. <laughs> you know, the, the routine basically is we get up at 5.30 and they eat breakfast, and then we do our daughter's hair. Parents that can get up at 5.30 and do their daughter's hair, no matter who they are, that's a family. We pick out their clothes for them, and then we kiss them goodbye. And that's typically what we do in the morning. What yeah. happened was we were in the bathroom. We were doing the girl's hair. And I said, oh, let me take a picture. In the picture, we captioned, you know, this is us every day getting up at 5.30 in the morning and getting our daughters ready for school. And it was a simple, innocent picture. And Cordell was just like, I'm just letting y'all know what I have to deal with. And then next thing you know, it went viral. And I, I, I'm still amazed. They're like, OK, why did this picture go viral from? The comments were a trip. It didn't make me feel any way because I know they don't know what we go through. I know that they don't know our children. I know they don't know our lifestyles. They don't know how we live. A picture is so much more than a thousand words. I think that this camera, as we grow and as the kids grow, would it be able to better explain to anybody the type of family we are with the pictures and the things that we've done and how we raise them. We as parents bring kids into the world and we have to guide them to be better people than we are. And we want them to be better people than we are. And we want them to succeed and do things that we weren't able to do. And those kids have our heart. And I can't sit here and explain to you in words why we feel the way that we feel for our children, but those are our kids and no one else can tell me anything different. Good morning, Facebook family and YouTube subscribers. Today is January the 13th. It's Wednesday, January the 13th, 2015. Wow, isn't that a great video? It's a commercial for a camera, yeah, but it's beautiful. I saw that earlier this morning. I was laying in bed, just woke up, and this that, pop, that video popped up in my news feed. And... I was laying there, really, you know, I wake up in the morning, I'm not really a morning per person, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I don't like getting up, I know I have to get up, it's about 7 o'clock, the dogs wanted to go out, I'm laying in bed, I'm like, just give me 30 more minutes, and then that video came through my, um, down my wall, on my news feed on Facebook, and it made my day, it made me get up out of bed, and it made it just that commercial. It's a commercial for a camera. But it got me, and I guess it also got me because it won my heart over. Because I know what it's like to be a black gay man in Black America. Somebody asked me, "Where is Black America?" I wanted to say, "Motherfucker, I'm gonna get you in your car." Some white guy sent me a message saying, "What is Black America?" I want to pick his ass up and drive him over to the south side of Chicago and drop his ass off and see. And then pick him up a few hours later and say, did you enjoy Black America? <laughs> I bet you you couldn't, wouldn't survive over in that part of town. But back to this video. The video, growing up as a black gay man, um, I've ignored a lot of foolishness from the straight community. So to see that video and to see these two black gay guys, a couple who live here in Atlanta, raising their kids, and then for them to get made for that, for them alone to get a national commercial, a national Nikon a manufacturer behind them, a camera manufacturer behind them to make a commercial about them, I think it's phenomenal. Um, of course, there are going to be a lot of people who don't like, because you know, a lot of people are saying, they're pushing their gay agenda. So a lot of, I, and I'll be, right after I saw the video, I was very curious. I said, boy, I can imagine these comments are going to be hellified. So I didn't read any of the comments. I watched the video, like, two, the commercial two or three times. And I got up out of bed, took the dogs out. 
Got my cup of coffee going. I got my little cup of coffee here, right here. Mm-hmm. Got my coffee going. Beautiful day. I said, okay, let me go read these comments. <sighs> we have a long way to go as a race of people. See, in my opinion, religion is destructive to black Americans. Religion is holding us back. It's not uniting us as a race of people. Religion is a dangerous force to keep us from being united, working as a team of people. Because I can't work with you because you gay. I can't work with you because you Muslim. I can't work with you because you Jewish. I'm only working with, you know, this foolishness. This, this couple's raising their kids together. This is their, this is their, and I'm going to go deep, I, I, I've read, did a lot of research on these guys, but I'm not going to go there. But I'm glad that they're raising their children together. I'm very proud of who they are. Maybe because, <laughs> but to read those comments, it was disturbing. It's disturbing because I realize, because I get these na- I get negative, nasty comments on my Facebook and YouTube channel. A lot of y'all don't see it, because especially on my YouTube channel, I can control the comments. I have to approve them first, and I just delete them. I ain't got time for this ignorant shit. Delete, 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 delete. I delete it. Because I know y'all, y'all black folks are ignorant. Been around black folks all my damn life. If somebody looked at that video, that commercial, and had a problem with that, they are a problem because they're ignorant. And this religion keeps black people ignorant as fucking hell. It does. It keeps us ignorant as hell. I have so many family members, so many friends, so many people I know at the gym. When they come up to me and they start spewing that religious shit, I just want to punch the shit out their ass. Because it's ignorance. It is straight up ignorance. They believe it. Oh, Jesus, go come tell my asses. You oh, don't hold your fucking breath because there will be no Jesus coming to save nobody. Bunch of fake bullshit. I never, like I always say, I'll hate this man. Religious people will hate the man sitting next to them. For the religious, hate this person. Because they're gay, Muslim, whatever, Jewish. Hate this person, but love something they can't even see, touch, feel, or... They'll love something they can't see, can't talk to, can't talk back to them, can't feel it, can't... Love it! I love Jesus! Well, where that motherfucker at? Where is he? You got his phone number. I sure would like to talk to his ass. Anyway, that's a great commercial. I love it. We have a long way to go as African Americans, Black Americans. Somebody, where is Black America? (laughs) If for a white person to ask, they don't know what Black America is. We got a long way to go with that bull crap too. Sad. Anyway, I'm going to continue to sit here and enjoy my cup of coffee and watch the news and get dressed and cook breakfast and go about my day. And I'm still going to have this beautiful image of that commercial. It's a commercial. I give it that. And I loved it. It made my day. If you like my videos, please click like. Share them with family members and friends. Share them with all your Christian Jesus-loving friends. Because they need to see it. You all have a great day. I'm out of here. Bye.